In this video, I'm going to show you three ways that you can use the vocoder plugin in Cubase creatively. When we think of vocoder plugins, we think of robotic vocals and all these amazing effects. But there are many ways that you can use a vocoder plugin creatively to create interesting sounds. So I'm going to start with the first way straight away, and this is creating animated synth parts. So in order to do this, you only need some drum loops, some rhythmic material to drive your vocoder, and this will create some really interesting parts. For example, I have these drum loops right here, and I'm going to play them. And now I'm going to run them through the vocoder. Let me show you how you can do this. In order to take full advantage of the vocoder plugin, it's very important that you understand how to set it up using MIDI. So you can control the notes using a MIDI keyboard, like what I'm doing here, or you can just use the chord track in Cubase, or you can use your key editor to insert the chords. In order to do this, all you have to do is go to the track you want to add your vocoder onto. And in this case, I have it on my drum loops track right here. That's an audio channel. And all you need to do in order to be able to control the vocoder using MIDI is you need to go here, add a track and create a MIDI track. Now, all I need to do is set up my MIDI inputs. In this case, I'm going to select all MIDI inputs because I want to be able to control this using any one of my keyboards right here. But for the MIDI outputs, I want to make sure I route this to the track that I want to control. So in this case, I'm going to click on this drop down menu and select drum loops, insert vocoder one. And this is the effect that I want to control. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to name my channel and hit add track. And this is it. The last thing that you need to do is to make sure that your MIDI is set to external and not fixed. As you can see, I have my drums MIDI track here that controls the vocoder for my drums. And now whatever notes I play on my keyboard are going to be triggering the vocoders. And this is the procedure for all the techniques that I'm going to show you here today. But one of the things that I find is really interesting with the vocoder included in Cubase is that you can really treat this as a synthesizer. So as you can see, I have a controller here. And if I click here on my quick controls, you will see that I have assigned all my quick controls to parameters on the vocoder that will allow me to have a really interesting live performance. So let me use those quick controls and you will see how I can change the sound in many different ways. So I have the max frequency here, the minimum frequency. This is like a filter. I can change the filter back. The envelope speed. Faster. And so on and so forth. So I can have many, many different ways to control my vocoder. But now that I've done this, you can see that through these drum loops, I can create all these very interesting animated, almost synth like parts. I can use my modulation wheel to create vibrato effects. So this is a great way to create animated synth parts with an extra bonus that they will sit 
perfectly and sync perfectly to your drum loops. The second way that you can use the vocoder creatively is to create vocal harmonies for your vocals. Let's play this vocal right here. Got me high, I'm twisted. Don't know how I'm thinking, but my mind is set on crazy love. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the vocoder right here and I'm going to do the exact same technique. So I have a MIDI channel here that I call it harmonies and this is rooted to the vocoder for my vocal channel. Now what I can do is I can open my vocoder and let me show you. I have created a preset here that I find works really nicely if you want to create vocal harmonies. So what I have here is I have the talk through activated which means that the vocal will go through even when I play the vocoder. I've set up my bands to 13 because they sound really nice and also lucky 13. And let's see how this sounds. Got me high, I'm twisted. Don't know how I'm thinking, but my mind is set on crazy love. So I'm playing the vocal harmony on the keyboard real time. Of course, I can record this as MIDI information and I can just trigger this whenever I want. Of course, if you want to have more control, you can even add the vocoder to an effects channel. So send your vocal to the effects channel and actually control the effects channel. So you have control over the dry vocal and the vocal just with the vocoder. In this case, I would just have a talk through all the way down so you only get the vocoded signal. But I would also use the mod wheel to create those vibrato effects. Got me high, I'm twisted. Don't know how I'm thinking. But my mind is set on crazy love. And it goes without saying that I can create entire vocal harmonies using multiple voices if I just play chords. Got me high, I'm twisted. Don't know how I'm thinking. But my mind is set on crazy love. So the vocoder can be a really nice harmonizer as well, especially if you place it a bit low in the mix so that you support the lead vocal. And the last way that you can use the vocoder is so that you can create some really beautiful pad effects. So what I'm doing here is again, I have a vocal. You just keep on taking. And I have a vocoder on it. I am controlling it using MIDI. If you want to create a pad like sound, the key parameter in the vocoder plugin is the envelope speed. You just keep on taking. So already, because we reduced the attack and those consonants and those vowels are not so clear anymore, this sounds more like an evolving pad. So imagine you can add a phaser onto this, you can add a flanger, you can add choruses, you can add so many different things to make it sound like a synthesizer that morphs and many people will be wondering, where did this sound come from? And then of course you can still play with the noise mix, you can play with the minimum and maximum frequencies or your band numbers. I hope this video inspires you to get creative with the vocoder plugin in Cubase. And while you're checking it out, you might discover even more ways to use it. Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.